Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Carly. And I'm Edge. And today we're watching Demon Slayer Season 3, Episode 3. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we know roughly what's going to take place in this episode. We're going to have some sort of backstory about the sword that we saw last episode. Yes, hopefully. That was really interesting. I did not expect yeah. the sword to be inside Yorichi. Yeah, that's right. Yorichi. The doll. Yeah. Crazy. We also got a little bit more time with Muichiro last episode as well. That's right. He's not really gone up higher in my ranks or anything yet, but I'm sure he will. Yeah. And then there was also... The bands between, I think it's Gotetsu or Goketsu, the little boy and Tanshiro. I don't think it was even bands at this point. It was just full on like low-key abuse. <laughs> nah, they, they've got a cute sibling sort of relationship there. Yes, it's uh, helping Tanjiro. Yeah, that's right. So we've kind of, I think, laid the groundwork already for the main characters that are going to feature this season mm -hmm. uh, in the first two episodes. And I think this episode might be a little bit more story driven uh, about the sword. Okay. But anyway, should we get into it? Let's get into it. Oh, yeah. that works out nice. Oh. <laughs> what the heck is this? going on? Yeah, yeah, go on. Yeah, he wants this so bad. <laughs> They're geeking out. Oh. oh. Tanjiro. <laughs> you took it like a good sport. What's going on? Excuse me? That's a huge swordsmith dude. Do we reckon like they're doing something funky with the, the anime? No, no, this dude's actually humongous. <laughs> Oh, he's going to take the sword. This dude's on droids. <laughs> I didn't expect this dude to be this ripped. No, no way. After all the time we've seen him. Oh! That's me. That's literally me. <laughs> I almost died once. My cousin, you know, tried to tickle me in a blanket. I almost suffocated. Oh. Messed up. <laughs> oh, he's gonna restore it. That's brilliant news. <laughs> the kid's got a point. I gotta say, you can't just rock up and take take shit, you know. believe he got that big just from training in the forest. Had yeah. to have seen Mitsuri in the in the hot springs and you reckon she inspired him. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. Hey, he's all right. Yeah. How do you say his name? Hagen Nezukas. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Hagen Das. You, you kind of deserved it, mate. I'm yeah, you sorry, it. but. <laughs> That's right, Tanjiro, you tell him. Did he get it repaired? 
Hold on a second. Tanjiro's the greatest man. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, he does some nice braids. <laughs> He's got to be the nicest MC we've ever seen. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> She's so cute. I'd love to see a Mitsuri and Nezuko team up. That'd be so sick. Oh, yeah, that would be awesome. Mitsuri is so nice to her. Yeah. What is that? Oh, no, it's it's the demon, Carly. Oh, shit. Yoko, isn't uh, it? Yeah, he's going to... Oh, gosh. Yeah. Oh, shit. How are they there? Oh, that was brutal as well. Is that his name? Yoko? Oh, gosh. Oh, he spat him up. Oh, he's still alive, is he? Yeah, that's disgusting. And falls there he too. Spoke as well. Oh no, this soon? I know they both left, but yeah, I didn't expect them here together that soon. Mm. That had me like in the soul just then. Yeah, that was kind of messed up. The sound effects and. Ooh. I forgot the name of Upper Rank 4. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, he's talking about that good karma. Oh, he's interested. This interaction. <laughs> oh shit, okay, just right, like. Uh... Are we getting upper rank fight right now? Sh surely not. Yep. Careful, careful. Carly, here we go. She's actually making me feel so comfortable and at ease. Oh, he's quick. Yep. Yes, yes. Oh, look at that fresh animation. Wow. The sunflower. Crust. <laughs> Let's go. Nez. And there's two? Yes. No, he just has a message or something? What's the go? No, that is the upper rank. Yeah. He's getting his ass whooped. That Nezco kick. Oh. No, no, he's not done, Angelo. Don't be fooled. We saw what happened with Ducky, that's right. Mm -hmm. Maybe the real demon's inside that egg. Oh, the... Yeah, the, the top thing? egg. Okay. There. Ew. The big pimple. Oh. 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 Yeah, he's, okay. He's been freed. Uh, wait. There's, wait, is there two now? Yeah, there's two, Angelo. Yep. Yeah, okay. Okay. That's kind of sick, I'm not going to lie, but like, I hate him. Oh, oh, wait. What is that? Wait! Oh. Oh. Wait, no wind, right? Mist? He's good. Oh, he looks so sick. Are you kidding me? Sekido. Ooh. Okay, they've got two different personalities going. This one is so scary. 
Oh, I can't contain my excitement. Yeah. Let's go, Genya. What? Wait a second. You got a double barrel. <gasps> hey! Oh. It's got the niche of these oh, bullets. The bullets are, yeah. Okay, let's go. Oh dear. Careful. Oh shit. <laughs> That's crazy. This is a crazy ability. What the heck? Yeah. He gets younger. Oh dear. Are you kidding me? It's flying now. Oh, okay. So you chop them off. You chop their heads oh. off and they multiply. Wait. Stab Jim! No! Wait. You can do energy waves? Oh my gosh. A supersonic scream. He chopped his foot off. I hope he's alright. Ah, oh, crap! Again. What is that? It's like a supersonic scream. He's alright. What is that? Oh. What is this fish? What is this stupid fish? Oh, oh. that's so sad. Oh, okay. Oh, look at that. You can definitely tell the difference in the animation. Look at that thing. Is Tanjiro going to get to him? Let's go! <sighs> oh my gosh, he did! Okay, Carly. I'm so pleased. I need to see the misbreathing again. I'm so pleased. Oh my gosh. And you'll see how this comes back to him, like how Tanjiro was saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! I'm so good. <laughs> Haganezka. Okay. That's not too bad. Haganezka. Haganezka. I'm trying to listen, yeah. Angelo. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he loves it. <laughs> oh my gosh. I was not expecting that. Not not episode three, no way. No, did they like trick us in the title? There was barely anything about the sword in the yeah. episode. Yeah. <laughs> I guess they, they did cover that in like the first ten minutes or whatever. Oh, even sooner than that, the first few minutes. Yeah. Um Oh yeah, ten minutes is like half the episode. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so we've got both the upper ranks have arrived. Four and five. I know it was gruesome, but the way they introduced Gyoko there in the the vase, the vase. My gosh, that was horrible. Yeah, that that was nuts. Um, and then this that old sad demon mm. splits every time he gets beheaded. That's into a younger being or whatever, and then multiplies. And then each of the um, it was something on their tongue. It must have been. Um, because whenever they had their tongue out, that subtitle would pop yeah. up. Would it say like joy, one was joy, pleasure was another one, and they kind of fight based on those personality traits. Mm. So I wonder why, when they all come together in one, he's like this terrified, cowardly kind of demon. Probably because they want to be freed into their proper selves or something. Or maybe it's like an influx of emotion or something like that. Mm. Too much for one body to handle. I don't know. Yeah, but they all had their different designs there. That it was really cool. I think my favorite part about the episode was seeing Genya join the fight so quick. I didn't, I didn't expect to see him fight 
you know, so early on against the upper ranks, rocked up with his double barrel shotgun with the Nichiren laced, whatever it was, um, pallets or, or bullets or whatever. Um, yeah, he was ready to go. Yeah, that was crazy. But then they all started splitting into or multiplying. My favorite was when Muichiro decided to go and help the child. Yeah, yes. Oh, I was so happy. Yeah, some character development already. Definitely. It's like, we got to remember, he is very young still, and he is impressionable. I didn't think that he was, because yeah. he's so just like, blah. Like, yeah. I don't give a shit. But this is great news, because Tanjiro can really have a good effect on him. Yeah, can help him out. Um, his facial expression just doesn't change at all, um, Muichiro. Or Tokito. Yeah, it does. I think like when um, Tanjiro was telling him about oh, why yeah. he helps people. Yeah, he yeah, then like, it did. What did you just say? Yeah. Yeah, then it did. Um, I, I do wonder what his backstory is. Mm, yeah. And yeah, maybe he didn't have the greatest role models uh, growing up. No, he still is growing up. But yeah, I like that part where he defeated the weird looking 3D. Yeah. Animated fish. Yeah, it was like a 3D animation, wasn't it? That yeah. was crazy. Um, I think I still kind of miss the the old Hinokami Kagura, though. Why? Which one? The You know, like the, the other animated one? You know how the other animation is different? Like last season, season before? Was it a little bit different to yeah. this? I didn't yeah. notice it too much. I was just happy to see it again. What was it? The Sunflower Thrust? Yeah. When Tanjiro used it, he seemed, his body seemed okay with it. You know, uh, back in season two, the more he used it, the more messed up he got. Mm, yeah. I think he seemed okay when, when he used it this time around, the Hinokami. Yeah, I mean, he used it once. Yeah, I guess he didn't use it too much. We, we got a glimpse of the mist breathing. Where's Mitsuri, the best character ever? Oh at? my gosh, the way I just forgot about Mitsuri, like... Where is she? She needs to join the fight. I'm ready to see her again. I think her and Nez are going to have this, like, really cute sister-like re relationship. It already kind of started. You yeah, saw it. Mitsuri yeah. was, like, taking care of her or whatever. And now Nez, called, like, loves her and even <laughs> has her braids now. Oh, <laughs> that is so adorable. So, yeah, it's setting up to have, like, some nice moments. Almost like Tanjiro and... Tokito or Muichiro. I prefer to call him Muichiro personally. Um, those two can have like a, a brotherly relationship and then Nezuko and Mitsuri can have like a, a sister-like relationship as well. Yeah, and then hopefully Genya will warm up a bit too. Maybe yeah. now that they're actually fighting um, towards the same goal, like yeah. usually they're fighting with each other. They're comrades, yeah. Yeah, maybe now that they're fighting together, it'll help bring them a bit closer. We know how that usually works. Mm. Um, yeah, I'm just hoping he can find a bit of happiness too. I hope he'll be okay. He was stabbed yeah, early. Yeah, I think Nezuko's going to deal with that. We know that she can, like, um, tend to the wounds. Mm. Genya also said something like, oh, brother, I have to do this. Yes, yes. Almost like he expected to die or some shit. Yeah, I don't know what that meant. I didn't expect to see the double barrel. No. <laughs> that was hype. Um, <laughs> and then th when they introduce a new breathing technique, I remember when they did it with Zen. Um, they have like that that like calm music. Like a slow-mo moment? Yeah, they have like a slow-mo mm. with some like chill music in the back, but it just gets you hyped. Oh yeah. And then, um, yeah, they come in with the crazy animation. Um, but then what was it? He used the flower and blasted him. The demon used the yeah, flower it's like thing. Yeah, that leaf and the... Yeah, the leaf, sorry. It was like destructive as. Yeah, so they're going to be tough now. There's so many of them. Yeah. We've got the flying one. Yeah. The angry one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I wonder what the significance of all those are. What are they? Joy, um, pleasure. What was the whole purpose of showing us that? I guess just the different personalities, yeah, personas yeah, and so. whatnot. Okay. Now, for the demons to be around this quickly in the season, either I can see it going one of two ways. Either we're getting, you know, six or seven more episodes of just a fight. Yep. Or we're getting the season split into two with like 
maybe these two demons getting dealt with or retreating in the first half of the season. And then in the second half, we get like, is it is it Doma? Yeah. Um, the, the cheerful, yeah, upper two. Yeah, the cheerful demon dude. Um, I find that highly unlikely that they would deal with these two upper ranks in the first half of the season. We had Tengen mm. and the team defeating Ducky and Gitaro in like a long amount of time. Yeah, it was like spanned across about five episodes. I know that there's two Hashira now, but like these upper ranks are so much stronger as well. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen. Uh, yeah, I'm just keeping in mind the the power levels. Yeah, okay. Like for a moment there during the reaction, I said that I felt like so at ease that Muichiro was there. Like I felt like so relaxed almost, but... The, the power level and the power difference is huge between them, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah, it's very hard. I remember them saying in in an episode, I think in season two, that it'd take a couple of Hashida to take down an upper rank, mm-hmm. like one upper rank or whatever. So you would assume that in the next episode or two, Mitsuri would be involved. Now, with don't smile every time I say Mitsuri. I know it's exciting. I'm excited too. But I'm just saying... <laughs> um, no, if she gets involved, obviously it's going to help out a little bit, but they're still outmatched. Yes, big time. Big time. So I'm not entirely sure what, you know, what's going to happen here and how they're going to pace the rest of the season. I'm thinking that there'll be some sort of intervention. Um, maybe the sword comes into play and messes someone up. Mm, yeah, some sort of like additional not plot armor but something that comes into play like you said yeah and then maybe the other one retreats maybe I, it'll defeat one demon. i don't think um they would retreat because muzana just be like you're yeah, dead yeah okay i don't know maybe to relay the information about the sword to muzan though and upper one potentially because upper one probably knows about the sword and everything like that mm, yeah uh, maybe you would assume and that would fall into your twin Theory. Mm, yeah. Yes. Then there was Haganezka. Was, I've nailed that name now already. You know, easy. Yeah, you did practice it quite a bit. Yeah, during the reaction. As I was trying to listen. Yeah, that's my bad. Um, Don't come for me. It's his fault. <laughs> yeah, no, Haganezka. <laughs> what a boss. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, he's been training hard in the forest. Yeah, good on him. Yeah, I feel sorry for him. He doesn't, he doesn't get a lot of clients or whatever they were saying. I know. It makes me sad. It makes a lot of sense, but it does make, you know, it does make you sad a little bit. So, so he does really value Tanjiro then. Yeah. Ah. Uh. <laughs> um, yeah, it's I a quite, love hate. Yeah. I quite like the characters that we've got in this, in this season so far, at least. Mm. Just this episode alone. I like Muichiro so much more. <laughs> I, yeah, I really, really like him after that. After I saw that. He was interested in what Tanjiro was saying. Yeah. Because he's never shown interest before from what we've seen. Yeah. Um, so seeing that side to him where he's like, you know, able to absorb information and he's actually interested as well. Um, that says to me that there's a lot of character development potential for him. Yeah. Which I'm excited about. Yeah. Yeah, I am excited to see more of um Muichiro and the misbreathing. I want to see the love breathing. Pretty bad. Um, Look, I'm not going to lie. I want to see it really bad as well. Yeah. I'd love to see like a double up. So I'd love to see Tanjiro and Muichiro take on one demon and okay. Nezuko and Mitsuri take on the other demon. Yeah, nice. That would be crazy. Mm-hmm. And then Genya obviously gets involved too. Yeah. <laughs> Don't uh, if, forget about him. Yeah, if he's all right with his double barrel. Yeah. Yeah, so sick. You know how Tanjiro was teaching Muichiro about... Like what goes around comes around. If you help someone, that'll come back to you eventually. Yeah. Um, I reckon somehow him helping that child is going to either save his life or do something really big for him. Yeah. And that would be like that, that full circle moment in the season mm. that I'm sure the anime and the, you know, that I'm sure the anime will do really well. It'll do oh, it justice. Maybe because was the guy that um, got like, I don't know how to say it, regurgitated. By upper five, was it? 
um, was he Moichiro's swordsmith? Yeah, I think he was doing something for Genya as well. Yeah, so maybe this little kid now will help Moichiro. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Because he doesn't have anyone anymore. Something like that. I don't know. Something good will happen. I can't wait to say it. Yeah. I'm I sure... love a full story like that. <laughs> yeah, that'll do a full circle moment, I'm sure, in the anime. Um, yeah, that was definitely like purposeful dialogue there. That that conversation that Tanjiro and Moichiro had there. Mm, I just hope that, again, with this Moichiro stuff... Uh, how he's impressionable. I hope that doesn't work against him. You know what I'm saying? Like, if Tanjiro could get through to him that easy, I'm wondering now if, like, a demon could say something to, you know... Oh, no. bring him to the dark side or something like that. No, I don't know. I don't think so. Okay, I hope not. No, he, he knows. He can't be a Hashira without, like... Knowing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, good. Thank you so much for watching our reaction. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. It would really help us out. For early access to our videos, you can support us on Patreon if you'd like. And yeah, thank you so much again. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.